Simsy Clay here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are doing another home for the Willow Creek portion of my save file. And this home is actually next door to the criminal house that we've been, or that I built on Wednesday. So this is all in the same kind of neighborhood that we've been working on this week. And I decided to stick with this neighborhood for a couple of reasons. A, I thought it was maybe just a little confusing the way I did Oasis Springs because I was kind of jumping all over the map, but I was trying to keep things interesting so it wasn't like the same kind of house, you know, every time I was putting up a video. And in Willow Creek, it's a little bit easier to do that because with one neighborhood because I don't plan on all the houses looking exactly the same because since it is like traditional suburban area, it's not like... A lot of these homes are older, they have some more of their own characteristics, unlike some of the homes in Oasis Springs. So I thought it'd be a little bit easier, but I'm also sticking to this neighborhood because a lot of the storytelling is neighborhood specific. So if you remember, the criminal's home that we built last time on Wednesday, they are two criminals, they're working for Nancy Landgrab, and they live in this little area of town. One of them helps take care of their grandmother. That's why they are helping, or that's why they are in the criminal ring, is because they need the money to help take care of their grandmother. But their goal is to travel, and they want to go out and see the world. And this house is for a rookie FBI detective. So I've been watching a lot of Criminal Minds, so I had some... I had the FBI kind of stuck in my head, and initially this was just supposed to be a police officer, but I decided to make it an FBI agent. And basically, he's from the city. I did think he probably grew up a little wealthy, and so he had done all the, this traveling, he had been around the world, he had seen everything, and he decided that he wanted to spend his life, you know, fighting injustices and being a, a cop and a detective and everything. So he went to go join the FBI, and... He was kind of, you know, he wasn't the best at his job, but he wanted to really prove himself. So when it came up to be in Willow Creek undercover to investigate the crime ring in Willow Creek, he was like, I'll do this, I'll make it work, I will try my hardest, and you guys will all see that I am worthy of my job. So that was kind of my thinking. So he was placed in this house by the FBI. That's why it's a little bit of an older home. It's a little bit, you know well kept and everything i definitely thought that the fbi placed him here and this was kind of like a safe house or a secret house or something that they have um you know in their pocket to keep some of their agents in but he's going to be actually investigating this town trying to figure out who is running the crime ring here in willow creek for nancy landgrab and he doesn't know that it's his neighbors obviously and i was thinking that the neighbor who wanted to travel they probably got along really well because, you know, he had all his travel pictures and he had traveled before. So they like talked about her dreams of wanting to travel the world. And I thought maybe she even introduced him to her grandmother. Like they were really getting along and they were falling in love. And then eventually he's going to find out that she is in fact a part of the crime ring that he's supposed to be destroying. So... I think that's how I want my save file to go. That's how I would play with it. Obviously, you guys can make your own decisions if you do decide to download my save file, but that's what the story is going to be when you download my save file. That's the relationships that are already going to be involved. And as you saw, the back of the house, or the, I should say the exterior of the house, came together really nicely. I really liked the brick decision that I made. I had a couple of reference pictures and I was accidentally looking at the wrong reference pictures. So I have reference pictures for each neighborhood in every world. And the really expensive neighborhood here in Willow Creek, I had planned on doing like super old traditional brick style houses. And I pulled up those reference pictures instead and I didn't realize it until halfway through, but I thought it'd be kind of, you know, fitting if a couple of the other neighborhoods had some brick houses to kind of show that these are more of the original houses that were here in Willow Creek, even though they might have deteriorated a little bit or they might have been, you know, changed or fixed up or something. These are a part of the original houses that were here, so they have all the original brick features and designs and stuff that some of the other houses in the more wealthy neighborhoods have. But in here, this is the front area, obviously. It's very simple. I get a mirror and then some pictures and I'm trying to utilize wall lights a little bit more because I think that it just kind of makes a house look a little bit more complete, but I couldn't really decide the style I wanted this sim to have. So like I said, I definitely thought that this home was not technically his. It was owned by the FBI, so I was trying to figure out if he would have his own furniture 
or the furniture would have been placed here, but I decided that he probably would have had his own furniture and maybe he had just moved his furniture from his apartment here so that way they could make it look like, oh, he had a grand moving day and he could meet all the neighbors and everything and kind of get a head start on who is who and what's going on in the world. So I decided that he had a little bit more of a modern style. Like I said, he probably grew up a little bit wealthier. I was thinking maybe in the city, not San Machuno though. I was thinking probably Del Sol Valley, the city attached to Del Sol Valley. So he had a little bit more of a modern style, you know, a little mid-century and he kind of just decorated it in his hodgepodge little you know style because i did think he was a young adult so he hadn't quite like fully fledged out what he wanted but he kind of knew he had an inkling and then all around the house i do place some different boxes and clutter items of like unorganized documents and stuff like i said i did think that he was trying to prove himself in his job that's why he took this particular assignment he wanted to prove that he could be a cop and he could be a detective because a lot of people didn't believe in him so i thought that he was like working overtime like to the max he was always working he never really took any time off unless he was spending it you know out in public trying to you know make nice make friends and i think as he gets more involved with um his neighbor like that's gonna change a little bit he's gonna start kind of living life a little bit more and figuring some things out with her so i think as time goes on the clutter will obviously start to disappear because he's also going to have people here and he can't necessarily have all his documents about the crime organization you know just sitting in his living room but for right now i figured he was definitely like super emerged in his work so there's random unorganized documents everywhere i also wanted to make sure there was a coffee pot that's why i made sure i had this extra little counter over here because i definitely thought he didn't sleep all that much i figured he was probably working some pretty late nights trying to get the the information and all the evidence and stuff organized for the investigation that he's running and the kitchen and the living room are all pretty basic decorations i didn't do anything too fancy because like i said he's working all the time so i didn't think he'd have all these decorations around and everything should be functional um that one countertop yeah, i did leave completely empty so it should be able to work uh the bathroom's the only room that i'm not 100 percent sure of, but i will test it before i do anything um and i'm only not 100 percent sure because of how close the sink is to the bathtub but i think it should work but we'll see and then in here is the office i did want to make sure this sim had an office um it's a little i don't know it's a it it's a little cleaner than the rest of the house, which is odd considering, like, this is, like, the place where he would do most of his work. But the office also has this giant window here, so I thought maybe he might be trying to keep this a little neater because he doesn't want anyone to peek into the office and see what he's working on. But he has his little workstation over here. He has a super fancy computer and his notebook that he's taking all of his notes in on the neighbors. And I also thought that it was kind of cool to have the window right by his desk because he could sit there and pretend to be working but also keep, like, an eye out on what his neighbors are doing that's why the office has the most windows in the house because he can keep you know one eye on the prize basically and then over here we are doing a little seating area for some books and some reading i thought maybe one of these books had like a or bookshelves had like a secret cubby hole in it that had his like police equipment and stuff like that or like his safe where he kept all of his you know his badge and his belt and everything like that that was kind of what i was thinking that's why i put so many bookshelves around and then in here is his bedroom so the bedroom is pretty basic it's very modern uh, furniture i use a lot of snowy escape and then i'm also using these end tables from my first pet stuff and i'm using this light wood tone because i thought it matched with the fact that i had the super dark wood on the floors and as i said i am bringing some of those clutter items into his bedroom making it look like he is working all the time and he probably has you know not a lot of sleep he's always going over his notes and everything and over here i'm using the get famous dresser i thought i would bring in a little bit of del sol valley considering i said that i thought he lived in here and I put a folded shirt on his dresser because, as I said, I'm watching a lot of Criminal Minds. And in Criminal Minds, they always say that if the clothes are folded in a certain way, then you know they have, like, a military or law enforcement background. And considering he's supposed to be a cop, I thought it'd be kind of like a, a nice nod to that if I put the folded uh, clothes on his dresser. And then over here, there's another little seating bench um just with a light and everything i figured that's probably where he did his work when he was working overtime in his bedroom and then i do add a rug just to kind of tie in the whole room and make everything look a little bit more cohesive and a little bit more cluttered and you know 
just lived in and then out here is a simple seating area i do get a grill i thought maybe he had you know some neighbors over to kind of get a feel for the neighborhood and everything so we did have a nice outdoor area for everyone to sit in and then besides that that is it for this build so i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you all next time bye